Hello, Madison teachers. In this video, we will look at the qualifications for movement on the career ladder. Every teacher will be in one of these three categories, the residency shown here in pink, professional in yellow, and the advanced in green. The qualifications for each are listed vertically in white. For each qualification required, you will see an X in the cell of this chart. First of all, let's look at residency. New teachers will be in residency for the first three years of service. For the indicated items, you must qualify for any two of those three years, which gives the new teacher room for at least one bad year. They will get the same pay for those three years. They must also average proficient on the Danielson evaluation model. What does that mean for those 22 components? They must average proficient on the Danielson evaluation model for the 22 components. Scoring is a 4 for distinguished, 3 for proficient, 2 for basic, and 1 for unsatisfactory. Again, those in residency must average at least 3.0 on those components. 50% of the students must show growth of some kind during the year. The teacher in residency must set a goal for the year which is turned into the principal. The teacher must also be recommended by the district for successful completion of the year. One note on the goal is that the goal must be turned in, but it does not necessarily have to be accomplished during that year. After successful completion of the third year, the teacher moves to the professional level. The teacher must successfully complete the requirements in yellow for four of the five years, or they may qualify by successfully completing them the last three years in a row. The teacher must have no unsatisfactory ratings and no basic ratings on the Danielson model. 75% of the students must show some kind of growth during the year. A goal must be set and discussed with the principal, and the teacher must be recommended by the district for completion of a successful year. The teacher must average a distinguished rating in either Domain 2 or Domain 3, meaning they need to have three of five components rated as distinguished in either Domain 2 or Domain 3. After this five-year period, if the teacher has qualified for four of the five years or the last three years consecutively, they move on to the advanced professional level. Here they can qualify by not having any unsatisfactory ratings on the Danielson model. They must also have no basic ratings on the model as well. Again, 75% of the students must show some kind of growth during the year. The teacher must also have a goal for the year and the district must again recommend the teacher for successful completion of another year. As in the professional level, the teacher must average a distinguished rating in either Domain 2 or Domain 3 of the Danielson model. The last thing you need to know is that there is no backward movement on the program, as it is designed by the Madison School District. No backward movement once you're in that level. There is no backward movement. If you have any questions on this, please contact your building principal or give me a call. I'm Scott Shirley. Thanks for watching.